Welcome to MoGraphPlus.com. I'm going to start by importing the logo from Illustrator to Cinema 4D. Now, uh, simply you can select your logo here and go ahead to File, Save As. And uh, let me just go ahead and uh, go to my AI file folder. And I'm going to just uh, name it Main Logo, Save It. And then you're going to need to save it with Illustrator version 8. Hit OK and uh, okay now the next thing we can go ahead and open up our cinema 4d and uh, from a file merge and um, let's go ahead to this folder here i'm going to the uh, ai file and select the logo make sure you have the connect spline disabled and hit OK. Now it will uh, this way import the logo to uh, Cinema 4D and we have a null containing our three passes which will basically use the second uh, path and you can use your own logo and that's uh, absolutely up to you. Uh, so uh, <laughs> now the next thing is basically to uh, uh, basically go ahead and create a 3D logo out of this uh, spline. I'm gonna go ahead and control drag uh, this one to just copy it and I'm just going to uh, Alt double click on this traffic lights to hide them and now we just have this pass I'm gonna name rename it to main logo okay and then simply go ahead right click uh, click on this bar here generators hold on alt and click on extrude and this way we're gonna have an extrusion there we go I'm gonna go ahead and let's go to something like 65 looks like to be quite enough in this case even 70 okay and then I'm going to my caps make sure you have the fillet caps for both sides okay and I'm going to something like uh, maybe 5 centimeter 5 steps 4 centimeter and five steps four centimeter for both sides and if you go and take a look you can see we have a good sort of logo here that we can simply use it in real flow to uh, you know our simulation if I hit N and then B to uh, go to my garage shading lines here you can see the shortcuts uh, I really don't like the way the uh, polys are uh, uh, you know a line here. I like to have a better topology uh, You can see we have this big polygon here and this smaller polygons here, and I really want to have a, a much more uh, equal topology uh, along the logo, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, first of all go to the main spline I'm gonna change the intermediate points from adaptive to subdivided and go to something like uh, let's go to five centimeter and see what we're gonna have. I'm gonna go to my extrude, turn, change the type uh, uh, from ingons to quadrangles, and then enable the regular grid. And again, five centimeter here also. I think five centimeter is a bit overkill for this, uh, so I'm gonna go to my uh, spline and change the maximum length to something like ten centimeter and for the extrude again 10 centimeter here I think that would be enough for this case and uh, yeah and just go ahead to the object tab and change the amount of subdivision from one let's go to maybe five or I think this is a good amount I'm gonna go to something like maybe eight okay that's enough now I wanna go ahead and let's go to extrude main logo and the next thing is to uh, basically convert this extrusion uh, to a simple poly object in order to be able to uh, import it inside a uh, real flow and import it to real flow because if we import it we can actually import the extrude uh, directly as SD into real flow but uh, it kinda will have some problems uh, because of the a way extrude works inside Cinema 4D and uh, it would be better to actually convert it to a simple poly object and then export it as ST to RealFlow that way we are sure that uh, we are not gonna have any problem with our uh, poly 
So I'm going to uh, select the extrusion. Again, control and drag to have a copy and change, rename this to uh, poly extrude. Okay, and that's gonna be our main extrude, which I'm going to actually hide it again. And I'm gonna hit C on this extrude and control click on this plus so we can see the whole hierarchy. I'm gonna middle click on the parent so children will be selected. And then I'm going to object and connect object and delete. This way we're gonna have just one simple uh, shape. But the problem right now is the uh, polys are not uh, exactly connected. If I select this polygon and move it, you can see uh, there is this uh, gap here. Uh, in order to uh, go ahead and solve this problem, I'm gonna hit Control Shift A to deselect everything, and then right click and go to the optimize. And this way, if you select one of these polys, you can see it is connected. And this is what exactly we want. Okay, the first thing I'm going to save this file here. So file, save as in the C40 files. Let's uh, name it. Um, I'm going to just go ahead uh, to uh, zero, uh, two, zero, um, two for the moment. Save it. Okay, now uh, the next process will be to actually uh, import this logo inside RealFlow. Uh, and for this, I'm going to go to the uh, plugins, go to the real flow, and then real flow is the exporter. Okay, uh, you sh need to actually download this plugin from a uh, real flow website if you don't have them. So real flow is the exporter. And then uh, before that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a few changes in my cinema 40 files. I'm going to hit control D to go to my uh, project setting change the FPS in this case to 24. I'm gonna go to have a timeline something like 1000 frame just a, a good measure we might not use all of it but I think it's a good idea to have uh, more than what we need and then we can reduce if uh, the needs be. So I'm going to my uh, plugins uh, I'm just going to actually rename this and remove this one from here poly main logo great and save the file one more time and then I'm going to uh, plugins, real flow, real flow is the exporter. I'm going to change the end frame to about 1000. Here I have the poly main logo selected and click on add. So you have it added it to the exported objects list. And then you can define where you want to save your SD file. I'm going to, uh, before actually saving this, I'm going to create a real flow uh, project so I can uh, save this file in real flow. Okay, so I'm going to have to open up RealFlow to create a project in RealFlow. Uh, I'm using RealFlow 2014. File, new project. Then in location, click on this bar. I'm going to go to the RealFlow sim and select this folder as my folder. And then define a file. Let's go to the whatever you uh, feel happy with it. I'm going to name it. Uh, fluid sim or whatever you like okay and then create a new project okay and then back into uh, cinema 4d I'm gonna click on this and go to the uh, real flow sim that we created we have a folder you can see you can have a we have a series of folder uh, work for particle meshes objects and stuff like that uh, we want to save our SD file in this object folder uh, so we can simply open it up inside RealFlow. So go to object and I'm naming it the main logo again SD or just main logo save it and click on uh, export. It's going to take a bit of time but uh, you can see it's in progress. We have about 1000 frame. And uh, after it's finished, there we go. Okay, fantastic. I'm gonna save this file <coughs> again. Back to RealFlow. You can go ahead and actually in the geometry tab, import. And there we go. Here's the SD file that we uh, exported out of Cinema 4D. And then I'm gonna hit open. And here's the 
logo that we have and we're going to be working with it. In the next lesson, we start the simulation inside the Real Flow. And uh, see you there.